I've been in the arts for over almost 46, 47 years. It's great exercises for anybody, you know, for, you know, for somebody that's older, somebody that's younger. Tai Chi is a very slow way of learning self-defense. Chow, what are we doing? Yeah. Grabbing somebody and pulling them in. It's a way of exercising, a very mild form of exercising. It's not like taking a martial arts class. So you're not going to get out there and sweat for two hours. Tai Chi is done very slow, very relaxed, and you move all parts of the body. Step forward, left foot, punch, bring the palm. Yeah, palm up, good. Slide up the arm. All the movements are blocking and countering. So I explain to all my students that whatever you're doing, you're blocking and countering, even though you're not hitting anybody. My right hand still making that circle. We call it a kata. A kata is, is in other words, you're moving left to right, right to left, okay? And every time you move, you're blocking and countering. That's it, take your time. I used to do a lot of walking, and I haven't been lately, and I thought this would get me motivated to start doing more things physically because I sit at a desk all day. It sounded very interesting and it sounded like it would not only be good physically but mentally. The pace is basically at your own pace. You, you go along, if you don't understand something, he explains it fully to you. It's great. Off the, right foot, reach out, pull in the, the physical part is good because you're using all parts of your body and it's not strenuous, but you are moving. Punch, check it. It's like being behind time. Instead of going 1001 with it, you're behind it. And the whole object, this looks very graceful, very pretty. It looks totally harmless. But if you understand the movements, well, you can do some serious damage to somebody, and you don't have to be a martial artist to do that. If you'd like to sign up for Tai Chi at the Civic Center, call John Izo at 785-6140.